I came to St. Mary's last semester, uh, August, when the building had just started the, the construction itself. Uh, we received the lab a few months ago, uh, but we already have so many projects. The lab is fully functional already. We have students working here and it's, it's a really great opportunity. This is an amazing facility, uh, especially for drone research. Uh, when I did my senior design, I did the control algorithm for Forsmuck and having a space to tune it and test fly it is amazing. Uh, before we were just doing it out in the field and we would get dust inside of it and some parts would break. So having this space is incredible. We have this amazing facility where students can not only learn but also apply the knowledge that they're learning in the classroom. The amount of projects we already have at the lab shows how interested these students are. What we're working on is a UAV communication protocol. Right now I'm working with uh, Professor Tessa, with Dr. Azai and with Dr. Ocampo on a whole redesign of the uh, St. Mary's uh, University quadcopter. Basically we are making a parachute for, um, for drones. A drone can fall and that's a um, a hazard for people that are, or a uh, property that's down there. It's just a safety measure for, for drones that can fail. I see my students having this space, the resources that we are providing to them. This is amazing. It's, it's a really good feeling to see that we're providing the best for their learning experience. I really enjoy like just the atmosphere of how, how this place looks. Like I can see there's already like a net, already safety features like implemented to make sure like Things won't break, things won't go wrong. So I really like how I can test like my own um, project like securely and making sure like I won't have to break this, won't have to worry about this, any type of setbacks or drawbacks. The drone market is an emerging market. There are so many opportunities and in a few years from now, drones are gonna be everywhere. Drones have become much more prominent, especially since Amazon, Google, all the big companies are using it. So it allows students to utilize the technology. The great thing about this facility is it will help not only SAT students, but students of all majors. In the fall, we plan to launch our drone club, which will invite all students to come to workshops to learn how to solder, how to code, how to build and fly their own drones, and participate in drone racing. The main thing about having this at St. Mary's is the fact that anyone can get their hands on any project that we're in here. Us having a facility like this will give us uh, just a place to come together. It opens up new opportunities for incoming students as well as allowing current students here at St. Mary's University to have an insight of what's going on, what's developing, what's new. It allows me to do a lot more than what I would have been able to do without it. My hope is that this lab will be active 24-7. We're going to have students working on different projects, uh, senior design projects, research projects, but uh, this this lab will be very active, is, is my hopes. This, this opportunity is amazing. Um, I'm so happy. I, I remember August, we didn't have the drone lab, and I had to work on the project um, beforehand, and we had to like use the dance studio room to do it. Well, I'm very grateful to everybody who donated either, either financial resources or time, their hard work. Like I can say that your work is paying off. You're not only going to contribute to society, but you're directly contributing to the life of our students. I would definitely thank the alumni and all the donors who have given the funds for us to be able to have the drone lab here. I, I just want to thank them for the opportunity because um, this is such, like, such a, like an amazing thing, you know? These kinds of projects would not be possible without the infrastructure. So I guess I could design a drone on SolidWorks, but how am I gonna put it to the test? How are we gonna build an actual working uh, final product if we don't have the infrastructure, if we don't have the resources? Thank you so much for your support. We would not be able to have this program without you. This building's amazing.